Are you interested in starting your own car rental business with Turo? Look no further. In this video, we'll teach you how to structure your business for success. Our proven strategies and insider tips will help you make the most profit while keeping your customers happy. Get ready to take your Turo business to the next level with our expert advice. Let's dive in. Hi, my name is Steven from New Money, the channel where we provide you with the most effective strategies and tactics for building wealth. Our goal is to help you achieve financial freedom and give you the tools and knowledge you need to succeed. Get ready to learn how to make money and take control of your financial future. All right, let's get right into the video. Turo Car Rental Service has gained immense popularity in recent years due to its unique business model that allows car owners to rent out their vehicles to others. This peer-to-peer -peer car sharing platform has revolutionized the traditional car rental industry, making it more accessible and affordable for consumers. Turo's popularity can be attributed to its flexibility, convenience, and competitive pricing, which have attracted a diverse range of renters and car owners. However, like any business venture, success in Turo requires a solid structure and well-defined strategy. Without a clear plan, it can be challenging to navigate the complexities of the platform and you may struggle to attract renters and maximize profits. Therefore, it is crucial to have a structured approach to your Turo business, from setting rental rates and managing bookings to maintaining your vehicles and marketing your listings effectively. Now let's explore the key components of a successful Turo car rental business and provide practical tips and insights to help you structure and grow your venture. Part 1. Choosing the right business structure When it comes to choosing the right business structure for your Turo car rental business, there are several factors to consider. The first is personal liability. A sole proprietorship provides the least protection for personal assets, which means that if your business is sued, your personal assets such as your home or personal savings could be at risk. On the other hand, an LLC or corporation can provide limited liability protection, which separates your personal assets from your business liabilities. This means that if your business is sued, only the assets owned by the business can be seized to satisfy any judgments against it. Another factor to consider is taxes. A sole proprietorship and an LLC are both pass-through entities, meaning that the profits and losses of the business pass through to the owner's personal tax return. This can be advantageous because it allows the owner to take advantage of certain tax deductions and credits. A corporation, on the other hand, is taxed separately from its owners, which means that the business must file its own tax return and the profits and losses are taxed at the corporate tax rate. This can be more complex and expensive to manage. Lastly, you should consider the level of paperwork and cost associated with each structure. A sole proprietorship is the easiest and least expensive to set up because it does not require any formal paperwork or legal filings. An LLC requires some paperwork and fees to register with the state, but is still relatively simple and affordable. A corporation, however, requires the most paperwork and legal filings as well as ongoing compliance requirements such as holding annual meetings and keeping detailed records. This can be time-consuming and costly, especially for a small business owner. Based on these factors, we recommend that a small Turo car rental business with a low risk of liability and a desire for simplicity and low cost, consider a sole proprietorship or an LSC. However, if you plan on expanding your business or taking on higher levels of risk, a corporation may be a better choice to provide greater legal protection. It's important to consult with a qualified attorney or accountant to determine the best structure for your specific business needs. Part 2. Setting up business operations Starting a Turo car rental business can be a profitable venture if you approach it with the right strategy. The first thing you'll need to do is obtain the necessary paperwork and licenses to legally operate your business. This includes a business license and tax ID number, which can be obtained through your local government agency. Additionally, you may need to secure any permits required by your city or state to run a car rental business. Once you have your paperwork in order, it's time to think about insurance coverage. Turo provides host protection insurance which covers liability up to $1 million and physical damage protection up to the actual cash value of the vehicle. However, it's important to note that this insurance may not cover everything you need. For example, it may not cover loss of use or diminished value, which can be significant costs in the event of an accident. Therefore, it's recommended that you supplement Turo's insurance with your own commercial auto policy. Lastly, keeping accurate records is essential for tax purposes and financial planning. You should track your income and expenses, keep receipts and maintain organized records of all your business transactions. This will not only help you stay organized, but also ensure that you're properly reporting your income and expenses for tax purposes. By following these steps and setting up your Turo car rental business operations properly, you'll be on your way to a successful and profitable venture. By the way, make sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it so far. All right, let's continue with number three. Marketing and scaling your Turo business. 
When it comes to marketing your Toro car rental business, there are a variety of effective strategies to attract potential customers. Firstly, optimizing your listings is key. This means taking high-quality photos of your vehicles, highlighting their features and benefits, and providing transparent pricing and availability information. Another effective strategy is utilizing social media platforms such as Instagram and TikTok to promote your business and engage with potential customers. Collaborating with local businesses, such as hotels and tourism companies, can also be a great way to reach a wider audience. While attracting customers is important, providing excellent customer service and building a strong reputation are equally crucial. This includes promptly responding to inquiries and resolving any issues that may arise during the rental process. By doing so, you can earn positive reviews and ratings, which will not only attract more customers but also help to establish your business as trustworthy and reliable within the Turo community. When it comes to scaling your Turo business, adding more cars to your fleet is a logical step. However, it's important to do so strategically, taking into account factors such as demand and profitability. Utilizing Turo's multiple car discounts is also a great way to encourage repeat business and increase revenue. Another effective scaling strategy is hiring additional staff to handle tasks such as vehicle maintenance and customer service, allowing you to focus on growing your business and expanding your reach. By following these strategies, you can successfully grow and scale your Turo car rental business and ultimately achieve long-term success.